Hello and welcome to another New Blue Captivate tutorial. I'm Ian Stark for New Blue. Actually, this isn't so much a tutorial, but more a quick overview of my favourite new features in Captivate as of November 2024. Let's get the big one out of the way first. The application is now actually called Captivate. Previously, when you installed the software, the legacy name of Title Alive would appear, but now it actually is called Captivate. <coughs> Moving on, there are a number of enhancements to the way Captivate handles imported media, including the all new Media Sequencer. The Media Sequencer is where you'll now perform all operations on imported media, whether it's a single clip or several. Now, I think this is going to be of particular interest to broadcasters and live streamers wanting to include commercial breaks or a word from their sponsors, as well as Captivate users who use the software for on-premise displays or corporate and educational users wanting to show media in a presentation. In fact, the use cases for the media sequencer go on and on. In terms of functionality, you can import one or many media items and then edit the start point, duration, how many times the clip is repeated, and which transition effect you want to use as the sequence progresses from the many supplied with Captivate. At the bottom of the Media Sequencer panel is a set of icons that give you a great deal of control over how you interact with the sequence, allowing you to randomise clips or jump in and out of the sequence with precise and deliberate control. You can also map media clips and sequences into picture-in-picture -picture graphics by selecting the Live Video Source Playback role in the Media Properties. Next up is wider support for imported media formats, with the biggest improvement of note being greater support for transparency in video sources. Here's a super simple example of a QuickTime file with a transparency, and when I play this out over another clip, bingo, it just works. For me, that opens up a lot of new creative opportunities and it's an improvement that I'm very excited about. And while we're talking about graphics, the clever folk at New Blue have come up with an even better way to optimise graphics so they render more efficiently and thus quicker. This is found in the title menu in the designer and you can run it against new or existing graphics on either selected layers or on the whole graphic. In simple terms, what it does is to look along the timeline to find frames where the pixels don't change. And then it tells Captivate to ignore those frames. You should find that your optimised graphics will not only render quicker, but they'll also play a lot snappier. Considering how brilliant it is, I think the description of this feature in the menu is a bit dull. So henceforth, could we all please call it Super Opto GFX Pro. And finally in my list of favourite new Captivate features is the ability to ditch the focus on the project panel in favour of the shot launcher panel. You achieve this by clicking on View, Workspace Focus and selecting Shot Launcher. You can now close and open the project panel from the button bar and the shot launcher panel becomes your main place of work. Dropping any media into the shot launcher panel creates a new shot and notice that now the shot properties are displayed in the new Shot Editor panel, with the shot contents being selectable from these neat and tidy folders. And of course you can build up your shot by adding new items here as you so desire. You can play shots on and off from inside the Shot Editor or the Shot Launcher as you wish. If you prefer working in the project panel, of course you still can, and you can switch back and forth to suit your workflow, but for me, this is a much simpler and more logical approach to working up a project. So, those are my favourite new features in Captivate. The media sequencer, better support for imported media formats, being able to use media with transparencies, the ability to use the shot launcher and shot editor as the focus for building your project, and let's not forget everyone's favourite, the Super Opto GFX Pro Graphics Optimizer. Whether you're a new Captivate user or you're already on your journey, if you want more tutorials and content like this, don't forget to click subscribe. I'm Ian Stark for New Blue. Thanks for watching.